Lori Kay would like to know, why would you tie a roast and what's the best method? Well, you want to tie a roast because you want it to stay in an even shape during cooking. So it'll compact the roast, especially roasts that can be all different sizes and shapes. One end might be too thick, one might be very thin. But in this case, we're going to tie a tenderloin. So we're going to start at the center of the roast and you want to use cotton twine because it's not going to melt in the oven like some polyester twine will. We want to make a double knot, but here's a great tip for keeping that knot in place as you tie it. You want to go around once and then loop that string right around a second time. Now I can actually let this go and it's going to stay like that. Now we can go ahead and make our second knot. So you want to space each of these ties about an inch apart from each other until you reach either end. After you're done tying up the roast, just cut away any excess twine using a pair of kitchen shears. But you want to leave about a quarter inch to a half inch behind so that the knots don't unravel. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.